guys, welcome to my kitchen. Bienvenidos a mi cocina. Today we're going to be making flan de galletas. And you can use any brand. Um, I'm using these. Um, but uh, whatever cookie you decide to use, it will still come out great. Hoy le voy a enseñar cómo hacer un rico flan de galletas. Si quiere ver cómo hacer este flan, no te vaya. So if you want to see how to make this flan, don't go anywhere. So let's get started. Ahora vamos a empezar con la preparación. Primero, precaliente el horno a 350 grados Fahrenheit. Ahora voy a hacer el caramelo. Deja que el azúcar derretida y forme un caramelo dorado. So we're going to start off by preheating our oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And right now I'm making the caramel sauce. I added four tablespoons of water, a half a cup of sugar. We're going to let this melt until we have a golden brown caramel. When you're making a caramel sauce, be careful not to have your flame up too high and don't walk away from the stove because you don't want to burn the caramel because it'll taste really bitter. No ponga el fuego demasiado alto porque quemará el caramelo y tendrá un um, sabor uh, muy amargo. Now I'm pouring the caramel sauce into my baking mold and you want to move really fast because um, the caramel hardens up quickly. And you want to be really careful because it's really hot. So uh, once I get the caramel sauce into my baking mold, I'm going to um, swirl it around to coat the edges. Con este paso, ten cuidado. Avanza rápido con este paso porque el caramelo se endurece muy rápido. Y ten cuidado porque el caramelo esté muy caliente y asegúrate de cubre todo el fondo con el caramelo. Next, in a large bowl, you're going to add the eggs, the evaporated milk, the condensed milk, the cookies, and the vanilla. And you're going to mix everything together until you get a smooth um, batter. En un recipiente grande, añade y mezcla um, los huevos, la leche evaporada, leche condensada, galletas y vanilla. Bate bien hasta obtener una mezcla homogénea. If you prefer to add all your ingredients into a blender, you can do it. Um, it's a lot easier that way because then you can actually pour it easily into your mold. Si prefieres echar todos los ingredientes en una licuadora, dale, porque es mucho más fácil vetir la mezcla en el molde. The reason why I didn't add my ingredients into a blender is because I'm going to use the immersion hand blender in this bowl. But if you have an immersion blender, you know, you can do what I'm doing. La razón por la que no usé una licuadora es porque voy a usar una licuadora de mano, una inmersión. Now I'm adding two teaspoons of homemade vanilla. And if you uh, follow me, you know that I uh, make my own vanilla. If you want to know how to make it um, and you haven't seen the video, then I will leave a link below. Yo le pongo dos cucharaditas de vanilla casera. Si me sigues, me ha visto hacer vanilla casera. Si no, y quieres saber cómo hacer esta, dejaré un link abajo. Ahora voy a echar la mezcla a través un colador para obtener una mezcla suave. In order to get a smooth batter, you want to pour your mixture through a strainer to remove any lumps. Now you want to use aluminum foil to cover your flan because we're going to get ready to bake it in the oven. Ahora voy a cubrir el flan con el aluminio porque voy a hornearlo. Now we're getting ready to make a bain marie or a baño maria in Spanish. And this is basically a water bath so that the flan doesn't cook too fast and burn. And we're going to add hot water to this. So I have a pot of hot water boiling. And this helps the flan cook evenly. 
Ok, coloca el molde dentro de una bandeja grande y llena la bandeja con agua caliente hasta la mitad. Esto ayudará a que el flan se cocine uniformemente. So we're going to bake this at 350 degrees Fahrenheit um, for about one hour or until the flan is firm. And you want to check it with a toothpick to see if it comes out clean. If it's clean, then it's ready to uh, take out of the oven. But if it's still wet, you want to leave it in the oven for about 10 more minutes. Okay, only allow a 350 grados Fahrenheit durante una hora o hasta que el flan esté firme. Chequealo con un palillo y si sale seco, está listo. Si no, ponealo 10 minutos más. Once the flan is ready, you want to remove it from the oven and you're going to let it sit for a while so they can cool off um, at room temperature. And then you're going to put it in the refrigerator uh, for four hours or overnight. Una vez que el flan está listo, uh, sácalo de horno y déjalo enfriar a temperatura ambiente. Luego póngalo en la nevera um, cuatro horas o toda la noche. Um, now you want to loosen the edges of your flan with a knife or a spatula. And once you get it loosened, then you want to put a plate over it and you want to flip the flan carefully. Al siguiente día, pasa una spatula o un cuchillo por los bordes de molde y coloco un plato grande sobre el flan. Dale la vuelta con cuidado y ahí lo tiene. Un exquisito flan de galleta de madera, listo para disfrutar. Qué belleza. Miren este delicioso caramelo. ¿Lo ve? Riquísimo. Puedes decorarlo como quieras. Ahora voy a probarlo. You can decorate your flan any way you want to. Um, I'm adding mint and some crackers, and now I'm going to take a piece. Just look at this. How delicious does this look? Wow. Okay, so enough teasing you. I'm going to take a piece so you can see what the texture is like. La textura de flan es cremosa y suavecita. The texture is creamy and smooth. And if you guys are looking for a new flan recipe, this is one to try out. If you're interested in seeing different uh, flan recipes, I'll leave a link below. Si quieres ver más recetas de flan, dejaré un link para mi playlist. Well, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Um, and if you want to see more recipes like this, hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my recipes. The bell lets you know when I'm uploading new videos. Until next time, thanks for watching. And follow me on Facebook and my Facebook group, Cooking the Cuban Way. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bueno, mis cariños, es hora para ayudarme. Si te gusta este video, dale un like. Si quieres ver más recetas cubanas, Suscríbete a mi canal y haz que la campana para no perderte mis videos. Sígueme en Facebook y mi grupo Cooking the Cuban Way. Hasta la próxima. Muchas bendiciones. Adiós.